Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video you will see one of the most beautiful defenses you will ever see in your life. In this game I played with the black pieces against one of the best players in the world, Grandmaster Hans Niemann from US. So you know, before I will start, I really want to show you something very very important for me, our YouTube channel already has 648 subscribers and 66 videos so thank you very much all of you that you are liking the videos you're commenting you know you are here you're subscribing so don't forget you can see it's so much things here you have videos you have your also shorts you can see also my live streams of course and also so much playlist so just enjoy this channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel it's really really important so let's start and with the, with with the game of course uh, i played against hans niemann in the title tuesday tournament as you already know and it it you know it starts with e4 hans niemann e4 c5 knight e3 d6 bishop b5 check the moscow variation and now i play the move bishop to d7 he played the move c4, of course, in this position. For example, a4, it's a move. Bishop d7, of course, with the queen takes or knight takes. Castle, knight gf6. Queen e2, for example, e6, c3. Bishop e7, d4. A lot of theory, of course, and it's fine for black. Uh, also, one possibility here to play rook e1. And now we will play g6, c3, bishop g7, d4, castle. And now we are not afraid from e5, d takes, d takes, knight g4, e6, and now knight d2, e5, and black is totally fine here, maybe already better. So, yeah, the difference, as you can see, that after queen e2, we must play e6, because in this position, because if we play the move, for example, g6, he will play c3, bishop g7, d4, castle, and now e5, d takes, d takes, knight g4, e6 is, is a little bit annoying. So, yeah, this is the difference. So he played the move c4, I played the move knight to f6, knight c3, and now I play the move g6, castle, bishop g7, very logical I think, um, you know, in general. So he played the move d4, takes, takes, and now I, I play the move castle. He played the move bishop takes d7, I take with the queen, and now f3, knight c6, bishop to e3, rook a c8. You know, until now it's all, all his theory and, you know, um, both of us, I think, just knew it. So we played the move b3, and now I think uh, I played a6. You know, what is the plan to maybe take and b5? This is our plan uh, because uh, very beautiful um, structure with white pieces in the center. So we must, you know, um, to, to, to break it up with b5. So this is the a6 move. He played the move knight d to e2. And now I think just b5 was, was a very clever idea. Because after c takes b5, a takes b5, knight takes b5, we have d5 in the center. And you can see all our pieces are very good uh, developed. Knight d5 will bring rook fd8, oh sorry, rook fd8 of course. This diagonal will open. And you know, our, um, our activity of the pieces are very, very good. And yeah, white has problems here. To handle with so i played the move after knight d2 i played the move knight e5 uh, it, it was not a clever move because you know i i, I understand my point i wanted to play b5 but yeah he, he just played a4 and a b5 is not working of course after b5 a takes a takes and i take b5 and why is it just up a pawn so i played the move e6 and my point was that i understand that these two two squares e4 and c4 there his pawns are very very good and I, I really must break it up so d5 should be a good move because i also opening this c file and also opening the e file so yeah this was my my point i played move d5 just uh, break it takes takes e takes and rook f8 so i sacrifice one pawn but as you see as you can see my my pieces are very good uh, you know in, in the center this knight is doing a great job this knight on f6 bishop do, on g7 this diagonal will open and also these two rooks are doing great and also the queen so i really was you know I, i'm sacrifi sacrificing one pawn but it's, it's it's very fine for me because i, I felt like uh, my position is is totally okay because of my activity of the pieces so we play the move rook fd1 very logical because this d5 pawn 
uh, is very important for him. I play the move h5, and you know, h5, this is our move. I, I really think that is very, very strong move because my point is just to play h4, h3, and I also bring window to the king, you know, in some cases, and also uh, wants to attack, you know, h4, h3, and somehow to... Um, to put some problems for white because this pawn will be very weak after h3, right? So he played the move here, rook a c1. I played the move h4 with uh, with the idea to play h3. He played the move h3, and now I I sacrificing a knight. Knight takes f3. Of course, this is a fork, so uh, he took the the knight. Queen takes h3, and now he played the move bishop to f2. And it, didn't, it was not the best move, of course. He played the move, you know, the best move here was to play knight f4, I think. But queen f3, no, maybe this was not good. Yeah, knight g4. Yeah, it's it's not so good. Um, what can it do now? Maybe bishop g5, maybe something like this. Maybe bishop d4 also makes sense. But also, you know, this position with time travel on the clock is very, very complicated for both sides. So he played the move bishop f2. I, I, I really can understand him because he wants maybe to bring the queen to f4 uh, and to uh, help with with uh, with defend this uh, very weak king, right? So I take I played the move knight h5. I think very logical. I also opening this diagonal for the bishop and also maybe he wants to play knight g3. Uh, in some ways with queen h1 checkmate so yeah it's it, it's very beautiful i think queen g5 very strong move uh, also wants to bring the queen to g2 uh, to to defend the king and also preventing from knight g3 so i take uh, with the bishop on c3 you know in this position there, there was there were very uh, beautiful sacrifice and rook rook takes c3 was just an amazing move uh, the point that after rook takes c3 we will take this knight on e2 and in this position i i really not sure what he can do because knight g3 is under attack queen h1 bishop c3 yeah it's it's not so easy at all i think uh, maybe queen h4 queen takes bishop takes oh no no bishop rook c8 check yeah i forgot about this so maybe knight f4 i can play because I want to give checkmate. Queen takes f4. Now bishop takes c3. d6 probably maybe. Uh, yeah, no, bishop e5. Yeah, it's not so easy. Maybe queen g4. You know, it's it's very equal position, I think. But yeah, it's it's very not so easy to play with both sides. So yeah. So we play the move bishop to f2. Yeah, knight h5, queen g5. Yeah. We talked about rook c3, of course. But now after knight takes c3, this is the point. That ju just knight g3. Knight g3, bishop g3, h takes g3, and now after rook d2, for example, just bishop d4, we checkmate immediately, rook takes queen h2, king f1, queen f2, checkmate, and after here, if he's playing move rook to c2, I will just play this one another time, and after rook takes d4, rook e1, checkmate immediately. So yeah, it, it, it's really crazy position, rook c3 was an amazing move, also one op option was queen takes f3, and also uh, seems very, very good for black, you know, but queen g2 probably, and I'm not sure how can I um, continue with the attack because now the king is not so weak at all now. So yeah, I took uh, on c3, knight takes and now queen f3. My point that I want to play also knight f4 and also uh, to attack this knight on c3. So we played them with queen g2, very strong move. Rook takes c3. Of course, rook takes c3 is very bad after queen d1, now king h1 and... I, King h2, sorry, of course, knight f4, I think, just winning absolutely, or maybe queen d2 with rook e2. Yeah, it seems like winning absolutely. So, rook, uh, queen takes f3, rook takes f3, d6, knight f4. Uh, I, I think it was it, it was a clever move. I'm not sure why uh, these two questions mark, but uh, yeah, also knight f6, maybe. Knight f6, d7, rook, d8, rook c8, yeah. Just takes, takes, maybe this one, maybe this he wants me to play. Because this king is is weak, yeah? Uh, yeah, we all understand it. So yeah, it's also interesting just to sacrifice the knight and we have some, some active here against this king. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's not so easy. So, but I played the move knight f4, I think, yeah, with with one minute on the clock against two minutes of Hans Niemann. It's, it's a really crazy position to play. Uh, but let's see, d7. And now I want you to think, you know, maybe you can stop the video right now and think, you know, just amazing, amazing save by me. Uh, and I, I, I don't want to tell you if I managed to do it, but you must stop the video and think by yourself, how can black 
maybe survive this position because the rook is under attack and of course after rook d8 for example rook c8 and we are just losing absolutely 96 bishop b6 and yeah it's game over i can resign the position immediately right so d7 and now yeah i will show you the solution so knight h3 i play this move knight h3 check king g2 rook takes f2 king takes h3 rook take rook e3 check king takes h4 rook f4 check king g5 and now quiet move rook e to e4 unbelievable this is putting the queen and king g7 and we have here two rooks against two rooks right and we have four pawns against two pawns and he has a queen up queen up full queen up but it's not so easy for him what can he do right rook f5 and rook g4 it's a checkmate on the board right and also don't forget about f6 for example if he's playing queen c8 f6 is checkmate right so he must play the move queen to d7 the only move that you know uh, defending from rook f5 check rook g4 check and also f6 check right so queen d7 and now i have only two moves to draw this game and the move is rook to f2 or rook to f3 with which idea after rook f2 for example my idea it should it to play rook g2 we checkmate uh, immediately right rook g2 queen g4 and take it so white has two options in this position for example if he's playing move rook g1 i just can play the only move rook to h2 with the point that i want to bring checkmate from h5 you can imagine that i'm playing without the queen in this position it's just unbelievable okay so the only move here for white is to play rook queen f7 king takes rook c7 check rook e7 and you know this position is it's a draw and yeah white will achieve the draw of course but yeah it's, it's, it's just unbelievable in this position rook f2 and if he's playing the move queen d4 we don't take it we are playing the move f6 check queen takes rook takes and we are have a pawn up in this end game of course also this one should be a draw uh, rook d7 i think yeah it should be a draw easy draw for white but but yeah we are not losing without the queen we are not losing the game it's unbelievable unfortunately in this position i played the move rook to h4 and just rook h1 and yeah the game is over the game is just over and i lost it and yeah hans Niemann won me with white pieces but it was just a crazy crazy game so thank you for watching don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe my channel thank you very much see you soon and don't forget to comment below your thoughts and ideas for this video bye bye